Hello and welcome back to tutorial 7. This is an addendum part 3. Um, I thought it would be worthwhile showing you um, one of the reasons that we went through enabling the actual uh, VPN tunnel. So you can see my array VPN tunnel is running here. Uh, it's the only application there actually running uh, other than QuickTime. Um, so what I wanted to do was show you what it's really useful for now. Now that I've actually got access and I can uh, SSH in on the private IP address, that's all fine. But one of the great things about software as well is the level of control that they provide you as an administrator of your cloud. Um, in particular, one of the key areas is getting to the console of a machine as if you're actually stood in front of that machine yourself in a data center. So in order to do this, um, I decided I'd actually show you what you have to do. Now, we, we know you can't use Chrome because Chrome is a 32-bit uh, browser and we're using Java. So we know we're going to need uh, Safari. And I tried this a few minutes ago and I just thought I'd show you what, what happens. So if I go to control.softlayer.com and I actually log in, Give it a couple of seconds. Now remember, I'm on the private network. The VPN is alive. It's working. You know, we can see it's actually connected. So that's absolutely fine. Um, you go to devices and your device list. In device list, you can go deeper down on the device and then you get a different actions menu with much more possibilities. One of the key ones is KVM console. I can actually look at the device, the console of the device, the keyboard and video and mouse. But when I click that in Safari, I get nothing. I don't get an error message. I get absolutely no feedback at all. So I wanted to show you this in an addendum to as part three to tutorial seven so that you could see the steps I had to go through to get my keyboard, video and mouse. I honestly thought that was going to work straight away. So clearly Safari isn't going to work for us. So then I tried out Firefox. So I've got Firefox. I'm going to log in again. So I'm in. I'm going to go to Devices. Device list, once that comes up, I'm going to click to go deeper. Right, and KVM. Okay, excellent, looks good. Ah, application blocked by Java security. Okay, error. So I click for details and you'll get this message. Your security second settings have blocked the application. After searching around a bit, this is not a browser related security setting. This is actually a Java related security um, warning. So kill that, what you have to do is you have to go into System Preferences, Java. This will open the Java control panel, so it's a Java security panel. Security, and in here you have to add to the exception site list. So what you have to add in here is firstly HTTPS control dot software dot com add that one and then add http and this time it's ten dot three dot twenty three dot two one nine and it's port fifty one ninety nine add that one as well this will give you a big blaring warning about how not to use http etc 
Um, I'm actually going to remove mine afterwards unless I seriously need um, KVM access for whatever I'm doing and then I can add it at the time. So I'm going to continue for now for the purposes of this video. Go OK. Kill that. Kill that one. Reload the browser page. Actions, KVN. No, it's still erroring. Okay. Did I not save the settings? Let's have another look at them. No, they're saved. They're in there. Maybe I have to actually fully kill Firefox. Let's fire up Firefox again. Okay. Go to my device list. Go to actions, whoops, when it comes up. KVM. And I'm in. And there you have it. There is portal access to the actual end device itself, as if you were stood in the data center with it. There we go. I've just logged in. So I hope that was useful as well. That is how to gain access directly to the console of the machine, whether it was a CentOS machine or Windows. Um, this is direct access to the keyboard, video and mouse of the actual machine itself. I've had to use Firefox, as you can see, um, and fiddle around a bit with the Java security settings. But that's how you gain access. Thanks very much. My name's Eamon Killian. I hope this addendum was useful um, to you in terms of seeing how to exactly get this thing working, certainly on your Mac.